This is Rockport Ryan with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. All right, coming out this week, uh, wind is still going to be hit or miss. Uh, we got some good days coming up. Uh, if you are looking for like some meat, definitely coming out around uh, Goose Island State Park, whether you go out around the pier in those Bartell Islands or heading down along this seawall, the Black Drum are still at it. Not the big, huge uglies, but some nice eating size ones. Most of what's been uh, catching those has been cracked crab uh, or shrimp on the bottom. But this whole area over here, coming all around Goose Island State Park, along that seawall, out around the pier, uh, on the outside of these islands, has all been nailing some nice black drum. And this time of the year, the trout are starting to come in. We've been having better luck with the trout at night. Running, if you're a lot anywhere out there, if you've got a pier with lights on it, going around all of those has been doing well. But we were launching out here for some quick runs from the Aransas, or excuse me, the airport road launch down to Murph Park. This whole area, as soon as you get out into just right there at the edge of that like drop off at night, the trout have been going crazy. Most of what we've been running have been uh, some of your glow killer shad rigs, uh, the glow shrimp, anything that glows has been doing really good. Uh, paddle tails. At night, you just want to have something that's making a lot of that noise, that vibration, or at least has some glow so that the fish can see it. There were a couple of guys that we ran into out here that were running shrimp under a popping cork. Traded out with them, gave them some uh, paddle tails and some imitation shrimp, and they are now artificial fishermen. All right, another place that has been on fire lately has been the Lighthouse Lakes area. You're going to have to do some paddling to find them, but once you find those reds, you'll be able to hit them up all in this lake system, coming all the way back around, coming past like marker 10, 12 into this canal system. Uh, all this area is, is pretty thick with reds right now. The nice thing about this area and that shallower water, top waters. That is the best thing about kayak fishing is that top water blow up from a red. Whether it's your skitter walks or your spook juniors or your unfair shrimp, it doesn't matter. It's a top water time. So come out here uh, whenever we have any of that calm hit anywhere into this entire lake system. You could come from the park into there if you want to come up along this shoreline and coming into any of these cuts. This is where we have been finding reds on top water. We're getting a lot of reports from the Oso Bay producing some nice reds and some scattered trout in there. So just about anywhere that you can find access to Oso. I've heard people reports coming from over by the campus, coming from by the some of the parks and everything. Anywhere you can get into Oso has been producing the whole area. Uh, most of what's been coming out of there has been some top waters. Uh, some people freeline and shrimp, but there have been some nice reds and trout coming out of Oso Bay. So if you can't make the trip out to Rockport and you're in the Corpus area, definitely come check out around the Oso Bay area. This is Rockport Ryan. Thank you for watching.